Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 5th of December's Godly Blessing. Now, Supreme Father over here is actually giving us an indication that more than facing any upheaval, outwardly upheaval, whether it's in finances, whether it's in relationships, the more important thing is to face the upheaval which is coming from within us. That means we have certain weaknesses within us and without those weaknesses, nothing in the world comes to us. So we are actually the attractor, the generator, the magnet of all those weaknesses. So let's go ahead and let's understand how we can be unshakable and immovable in any kind of situation. God says, may you be unshakable in the midst of upheaval and keep yourself safe from the shadow of Maya by paying attention. Now, Maya can be many negative traits within us. Jealousy is Maya within us. Comparison is Maya within us. Blaming is Maya within us. Complaining, which doesn't make us complete, is also Maya within us. Along with that, the bigger form of Maya can be anger, can be greed, can be ego, and those are the bigger forms of Maya. But there are certain subtleties to it, like anger can also be shown in the form of frustration, can also be shown in the form of throwing things around, can also be shown in the form of disapproval. So anger has got many different forms which are very subtle to be understood and we sometimes say no I was not getting angry it was just I was just trying to be a little loud well being loud is also a form of anger so let's understand the different aspects over here God says at present the Tamagoni power of matter and Maya's subtle power at present the Tamagoni power of matter that means the five elements have become Tamagoni Satogoni means completely pure and uh, Sadhu Pradhan means completely pure and Tamagoni means completely impure. So that's why they are unstable. Earthquakes means matter has become unstable. Weather changes means five elements have become unstable. So God says, at present the Tamagoni power of matter and Maya's subtle power of royal common sense are carrying out their work at a fast speed. That means Maya or weaknesses, subtle weaknesses within us are actually trying to enter within us. And we don't even come to know whether we got a lock system or whether we got a checking system or a security system to check whether they're entering us or not. And through meditation, we get to know whether they're entering us or not. And on a daily basis, what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a spiritual note, a four pages letter from God to us guides us to check those different subtle forms of Maya or weaknesses within us. God then says, children can know the fearsome forms of matter. Okay, you understand that yes, there's some kind of health issue coming in my body. You can feel the pain or you can see any kind of weather changes, outward changes. Or you can see, yes, certain things are happening in the world like lava eruptions or earthquakes or even typhoons or hurricanes are coming and even uh, drought is coming in certain areas. So you can see that the climate is changing everywhere. What used to have it earlier is not the same over here. God then says, but they are deceived in knowing the very subtle forms of Maya, that is within us. This is because Maya makes them experience something wrong to be right. So it's something like saying, well, it was, I was being very, very firm. I was being very, 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 very strong in my words, but it was an anger. Mm -hmm. There's a very subtle line to it. And God says, you have to understand ego. Let's explore that. Well, uh, I was trying to prove my point, but then you know what, people didn't accept it, doesn't matter, but I was right. So that is also whether you're right or wrong is decided by the situation and also decided by how you're feeling about it. If you have to prove something right or wrong, again and again, again and again, again and again, if you have to prove that you're right, that means it's ego. So there are very subtle forms of it which we need to experience and which we learn in Brahma Kumari so that you know we don't end up spoiling our relationships. We don't end up spoiling our business deals. We don't end up spoiling our job uh, choices and chances. And we don't end up spoiling our health too. Because we go, yes, psychosomatic cases also are there because of these negative subtle traits. Ego can lead to bone pain or bone aches or even you can say muscle aches and that has been proven even by science also even neck aches or shoulder aches are also a reason for 
are also a reason or a symptom of ego in, within us. Then God says, this is because Maya makes them experience something wrong to be right. She finishes your power of realization and makes you clever in proving something false to be true. So, if you are wrong in certain things, you won't even come to know that you are wrong actually. We'll have the ego of saying that, see, I was right, I am right. And even though we are going into the muck, sometimes we are so held upon proving a point that we are making losses, whether it's in business, we are making losses, whether it's in relationship, but our ego is making that loss and we don't even come to know that we got ego within us. We are bent upon proving a point. So that is subtlety, the subtle forms of ego within us. Anyways, there are many other areas too. Jealousy, there are many other areas too. So God says, therefore, underline the word attention and keep yourself safe from Maya. So let's say, for example, let's take jealousy. If you're jealous of somebody, even if that person is trying to do something good for you or has a good intention towards you, you'll think maybe this person wants to do or get ahead of me by proving that he's trying to help me or he's better than me. You see how it can mold you, how it can make you so ugly from within. So these are the things which we need to understand and realize and even recognize that we have got these faults within us. And for doing that, you need to get into spirituality and meditate and get connected to the supreme power, the pure power, who can actually let you know and make you feel that yes, I have got these weaknesses with me and I need to work upon them. More upon this, when you join the 70 Kusat Brahma Kumaris. I hope you take that journey very soon with the Som Shanti.